Okay, so we've looked at the basic ideas of expressions now and looked how we can use them to control random numbers and also to help us out by automatically animating certain parameters. Now, one of the things I really like to do is to tie certain parameters and certain um, effects to time. Again, it's another way of doing auto animate. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that we can handle time within After Effects. Um, so one of the things I like to do, especially with um, more complex expressions, is actually to sort of try to figure out what um, value a certain expression is giving us using a text layer. So I just created a blank text layer with, uh, with the text layer tool and just hit the enter key on the number and I've got an empty text layer here. Now one of the cool things is we can come into the text, go down to the source text and because we have our um, uh, stopwatch here, we can now all click on this and open up our expressions. So let's uh, just tidy this up so we can see this a little bit better and expand this up. So the cool thing is here is that I can actually have anything typed in here. If I just put them within um, speech marks there, I can write anything I want to in these expressions uh, or just in this text file. But yeah, this doesn't really get us anywhere um, closer to where we actually need to be because you know we could just as easily type in um, anything just in here rather than use it in the expressions. But a cool way of doing things now is to start to see what we have going on in our expressions library. So we have all of these sort of regular global things and let's look at time now and just come into our time and just uh, just type time in and it will actually show me now our time as we go through here it is increasing the time and I've go through one frame at frame at a time you can see actually I'm working in PAL here so I'm working at 25 frames a second so each step that I go through is moving in in 0 0.04 of a second. So this is uh, this is cool, um, you know, so we're seeing uh, time expressed as fractions of uh, seconds or, you know, to, to two decimal places. What I've actually wanted to um, come in and see this maybe as, uh, as, as frame numbers instead. Well, let's uh, come in and we'll add this as a little variable and let's take this as well, we'll call this one uh, S. We'll call the next one T. So hang on, so I need to go S equals time, then semicolon T equals, and let's have a look what else we have here. So if I go to my um, global up here again, we have all these different little, um, I'm not gonna say presets, but sort of ready uh, built in uh, expressions to sort of find out time to time code, for example, here. And this is going to write us out a whole load of, uh, of text. And one of the things we need to look for is our time code base here and type in our correct time code base. So I'm working in 25 frames a second. So instead of 30, I'm going to type in 25 here. Let's add another semicolon at the end. And now I can choose whether I want to show my time as time as uh, zero and two decimal places or time as in time code. By hitting in T here, it's going to take out the final option I have here. So the final letter, letter I have here, which is the T. And I can see this as a quick time code. So this is cool. But I can also see this as frame numbers as well. So if I go U equals, and then come over to my global again, and we can go time to frames. And this again will type in a whole load of, uh, of stuff, which we don't really need to uh, concern ourselves about too much at the moment. And let's add a semicolon there. Now if I hit U at the end, I can see it in frame numbers. 